Hi, and welcome. Thanks so much for joining me on this really brief webinar today. And thanks also for reading my blog on budgeting basics. So as you just read in the blog um, that precedes this little video, you know that I've been helping Jordan Johnson, the Executive Director for Help for Homeless Youth with her budget. And we've been working on a variety of different um, uh, uh, budgeting techniques and best practices, and we're gonna continue that through the blog series, but Jordan asked a question, and her question was this. How can we hide and expand the detail for different audiences? And really what she means here is that she has one budget, but she doesn't want to create one budget for her program staff and one budget for her board and another budget for funders. She really just wants to use one budget. Um, but sometimes the information for her staff can be super detailed, but yet for her board, she wants to keep the detail to a minimum and keep the conversation high level and strategic and she wants to be able to do that just with one document so how can she do this well I've got a tip and I'm super excited to share it with you and that's a technique called group and outline and so to do this I'm going to take you to the spreadsheet that Jordan and I have been working on and here we are we're in Excel and as you can see, uh, this is just the top part of her budget uh, where she's got the revenue. And I am going to show you uh, how to make your one budget work for different audiences. So here we go. We're going to start by highlighting rows eight and nine as an example. And we highlight those rows. And we go up to the top here. Now, usually I'm on this home tab here where you see all the editing. Um, you can wrap text, you can do conditional formatting, all sorts of things. But to do the group and outline, to find it, you have to go to data. So we push data. And then all the way to the right part of the data tab is something called group. And all we have to do is push group. That's it. And look at over here. We now have a little bracket with a minus sign at the bottom. I can push this minus sign and the detail disappears. And now I just have total earned revenue here with the summation. And that's it. So let's do this again. Let's, I'm going to go back to home because usually I am on the home tab. And let's go and highlight foundations. Let's say I want to uh, group all the foundations together in one. I go up to data, push the data tab. I go all the way over to the right. I push the group button and look at that. I have a bracket with a minus sign at the bottom. I push the minus sign and I get total foundations and I can push the plus sign and expand it. So for different audiences, we can have a different amount of detail. Now, you know your boards best and you know how much detail you want to share with them and how much you don't. Usually what I suggest to folks is keep your budget to one page um, and look to hide or roll up uh, the information where you don't want to be distracted, like how much you spent for pencils or how much you spent on cell phone usage. We really do want our boards to, high, to have conversations about um, perhaps the more pressing uh, conversations or uh, decisions that they have to make. Foundations is actually one of those areas. I like to keep um, the contributed revenue section open. So let's just say, you know, you want to give them this information and in fact, you never want it to have the ability to collapse it. So what we can do is ungroup. And again, we can just highlight the rows here. We can go up to data tab. We can go all the way over to where the group button is. And right under it is this ungroup. And if I push ungroup, look at that. Voila, no more, um, no more grouping. And now we have got foundations and all the detail that we want to show our board or, or maybe our fundraising uh, development department. It's all out there and we can we can have a conversation about it. 
And that is it for today's brief webinar. I really appreciate you coming and joining me today. And thanks for joining me on my journey of budgets. I hope you enjoy the rest of the series. Thanks again. Goodbye.